Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. This time it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And to mark the beginning of the NHL season, I am here with an NHL game <coughs> between two 2023-2024 NHL teams. We will be taking my New York Islanders, who are my favorite team, against the Chicago Blackhawks, who had... Rookie sensation Connor Bedard on the team, and um, I'm still feeling a little under the weather, so it's a computer game instead of a card and dice game. I will get back to card and dice games once I am feeling a little better, but let's not delay. We will get on with this. Let's see here. Game, new, unscheduled, and uh, we will make Chicago be the, or wait a minute, that's the wrong year. We'll make Chicago be the visiting team. And they will be computer controlled. And we will make the Islanders um, be the home team and will be controlled by me. And we will... Let the computer do the lines, and I will do the uh, decisions. So computer lines, human decisions, and we will get on with it. So, uh, let's see here. You can see the game looks a little different uh, than, you know, in the past. Um, but let me, first of all, we're going to go here. I'm going to change the options a little bit. Um, I like to use sounds and we will do the bass delay will be one second and uh, yeah one second and I think that's all I need to change so we will um, get on with the game So, yeah, it does have a little bit different look to it. Strat doesn't, they're famous for not really changing very much. So, uh, we'll go next to action. They don't change very much from year to year in any of their games. The baseball, the hockey, whatever. Uh, we have Sorokin in the net. We have the old time, well, not really the old time. We have the new, the new yet old, um, Islanders logo from like the nine, 90s. All right, so I have Vo, Vo Horvat. Bo Horvat has an outside shot option. He can pass. I'm going to try to pass with him. And they take it away. So Chicago has control of it. And we're going to get a shot on goal here, maybe. It's going to be a save by Mrazek. The Chicago Blackhawks have Mrazek in the net. And Johnson has the puck, Tyler Johnson. He loses it to Sezikis. And he loses it to Donato. Chicago has the puck back. And we're going to have an outside shot here by Matt Martin. Um, I am going to um, yeah, take the outside shot. He really isn't good at passing or getting inside. Outside shot for Entwistle. That's going to be a rebound. Sorokin gives up a rebound, and um, Sanford is going to have a rebound shot. That's a save and goes to the center. So that's Peugeot with the, with now with the puck. These are, by the way, computer lines and computer... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I did... Uh, I said generate um, computer uh, manager for both teams... So this isn't really any of my uh, doing. Let's see. Take the puck. Try to take the puck away. And he doesn't. And Bedard has an inside shot. 
And that's going to be a goalie rating six, and it's a faceoff. So Bedard had a shot on net, but Sorokin was able to stop it. And they have penetrated. Kurashev is inside with an inside shot, and that's a save. And the left defenseman coming away with it. That's Riley. And there's a crushing hit, so they take it away. Chicago has control of the puck. We have five shots, uh, or they have five shots on goal, and we only have one. Mayfield from the outside. And Palmieri is going to try to deflect it. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with the puck. So Felino has the puck now for Chicago. Nick Felino, the Nick Felino, and Mayfield takes it away, has an outside shot. That's a save, and the right wing comes away with it. So now we have three shots. We're getting closer here. By the way, Chicago was under 500 last year, but uh, they were like 23 and 53. Um, but the Islanders made the playoffs, so they were a better team. Although they got a lot better after Patrick Wah took over as the coach. I don't know how much that had to do with it. And we have Romanov on a breakaway. But that's going to be lose it to the left defenseman. The left defenseman swoops in Vlasic and takes the puck away. So we have 11.32 left in the first period. No score here. Dobson with an inside shot, and that's going to be a save and the right defenseman coming away with it. Now it's five shots to four, so we've held them shot shotless since the last time I said it, but now they do have another shot, and that's a save, and the right wing comes away with the puck. That is Barzal, so... Matt Barzal has the puck. And we are going to, yes, try to take the puck away. Barzal's unable to do that, so Dickinson is, has an inside shot. He gets inside. Save, and the right wing comes away with the puck. Both of, uh, I mean, I couldn't have gone wrong with either one of uh, the goalies for uh, the Islanders, because Sorokin was very good, and so was, um, I forget the other guy's name, but they were both very good goalies. And Engvall has an outside shot, and that's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes up with the puck. And Pelic, Pelic, I'm going to try to pass with Pellick and no, we lose the puck to Chicago Reichel has the puck now Lucas Reichel and Matt Martin intercepted it I'm going to I'm going to shoot with Matt Martin from the outside probably not a great um, chance but he's not going to pass it and he's not going to get inside either so we uh Matt Martin from the outside again. Sniper from the outside. Again, it's going to be a save by Mrazek. Mrazek is a good goalie. I like Mrazek. In fact, I have him on my Stratomatic hockey team in the um, old-time hockey league. I am the Canadians in that league, um, but um, we have, uh, have Mrazek as one of our goaltenders. So I'm getting a good look at him right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Peugeot. And he loses the puck. Bedard has it. Going to try to take the puck away. Intimidate. No penalty on it. And we do take the puck away, I believe. Dobson with the puck. For us. The Islanders, the good guys. And there's going to be a penalty, I think, on Chicago coming up. Yes, so we have a power play. First penalty of the game. 
Khrushchev is in the box. And uh, we're going to pass. 62% chance. And he's forced off the puck, so let's see what happens here. They're skating to try to keep the control of the puck. And now uh, Chicago has it. So let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, they, they're keeping control of the puck and killing this penalty off pretty well. Murphy and Chicago were back to even strength. Has the puck. Connor Murphy. Brock Nelson. Yes, we would want him to do that. Brock Nelson works his way inside. Let's see if he can get a goal here. Goal 1-14, to 14, and it's a roll of 6, and yes... It is a goal, and I thought I had sound on, so let's see here. Options game. So, yeah, I'm using sound. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I, that's right. I got the microphone hooked up, so I can't hear what the... So it is probably, you're hearing everything, probably. Um, Engvall has it, but we have a one nothing lead here. Um, eight shots for us, seven for Chicago. And Palmieri is inside. Inside shot for Palmieri. Goalie rating, seven save, either defenseman. So Korczynski has it. There is only a minute 14 left in the first period. Pulik with an outside shot. And that is going to be a, a goal. It's a goal, baby. Yeah. So Pulik scores our second goal. Sniper from the outside, Pulik. So we have a 2-0 lead now on Chicago. A minute 14 left in the first period. Reichel takes control of it for Chicago. And Sezikis with an outside shot. Now I'm playing with uh, house money, so we'll just keep taking shots. 11 shots for us right now, 7 for Chicago. Gonna go with Pajot on that. And that is the end of the first period. So we've got a face off at center ice for the second period, leading 2 0 over the Chicago Blackhawks. Happened to be my wife's favorite team. And uh, Jones on a breakaway. They've got a breakaway. And that's gonna be a save in the left wing, coming away with the puck. That's Anders Lee coming away with it. Forty-five percent chance to take it away. No penalty, so we take the puck away. I think no, we didn't. We didn't take it away. Jones is inside, getting on an inside shot. Brock Nelson comes away with it, so we have control. 18-22 left in the second period. Chicago now has the puck. Uh, Nelson with an outside shot. That's a rebound. Let's see if we can get it. Yes, we can. Palmieri. And that is going to be a goal! And we're up 3-0. 3 nothing uh, 3 nothing here. Killing Chicago. Call the police, call the National Guard, call somebody, because we're killing the Blackhawks. So, face off at center ice, we're up 3 nothing on, we got three goals on 13 shots, so I'm guessing I don't want to play Mrazik in goal too often. 
this year, this coming season. Uh, we'll go with Pollock. I mean, why not? I think he scored one of our goals, so why not? And he's inside. This time, though, it's going to be a save. And Morazic kicks it back out to Donato. We're up 3 0. Anderson has an outside shot for Chicago. And that's going to be a goal. Anderson scores and makes the score 3 to 1. So we are still winning, but we are now only up by the score of 3 to 1. 16.41 left in the second period. Going to give it to Pajot. And he has the puck. Uh, we'll give it to... We'll give it to Fashing. Hudson Fashing. Fashing on the inside. And that is going to be a save and left defenseman coming away with it. Chicago has control. Korczynski has the puck for Chicago. And Fashing takes it away and has an outside shot. He just had a shot from closer in and he missed. And he uh, didn't uh, do very well there either. So Chicago has control of the puck back. And we're going to try to intimidate. And Barzal can't knock Dickinson off the puck. He's inside. It gets a rebound. My defensive left defenseman isn't a two. That is really crazy. A defenseman that isn't a two, at least, should not be a defenseman. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, we have the puck back. Palmieri has it. Tyler Johnson takes the puck away and penetrates inside. He has an inside shot. There's another rebound. Sorokin giving up the rebound. Right defenseman Mayfield coming away with it. We have 15 shots to Chicago's 13, and we're leading 3-1. to one. We will try to intimidate, and he couldn't take it away from Felino. There's a goalie rating and a rebound. And we will give it to Palmieri. And it turns out to be Clutterbuck because the line's changed. And he loses it to Reichel. Peugeot has it now for our Islanders. And Jones will have an outside shot for Chicago. Takes the puck away. That's a save, and the left wing comes up with it. Holmstrom. Entz whistle has an outside shot. Save, and the left wing comes away with it for us. So that's Anders Lee with control of the puck. And he loses it to Korczynski. So Chicago has it. Pollock had it momentarily, but lost it to Murphy. So now they have it, but they lose it. Pollock takes the puck away, and so now we have the uh, control of the puck. Murphy takes it away and has an outside shot for Chicago. That's going to be a lose to the right wing. So Clutterbuck takes the puck away. It is 16 shots for Chicago, 15 for us. Reichel shooting from the outside, and we have a 3-1 lead. And now it's a 3-2 lead. So yeah, hopefully you're still watching this video because, hey, this just became a game. It is now 3-2, Chicago with, 17, with two goals on 17 shots, and we have three goals on 15 shots. Right defenseman Mayfield for uh, New York comes away with the puck. Donato takes the puck away. 
And that's going to be a save in the right wing coming away with it. So Fashing has the puck now for us. And Sanford takes the puck away, has an outside shot only. That's going to be a save in the left wing coming away with it. 7.08 left in the second period. In a game that we are winning by the thinnest of margins, 3-2. to two, Blackwell with an outside shot for Chicago. There's going to be a rebound. Any offensive player? No, we don't have one good enough. Or they do. They have a... And that is going to be... They're going to lose it. I'm going to give it to Peugeot. That's a good choice. It turns into uh, Horvat because the line's changed. Happens quite often. So now Bedard has the puck. The rookie sensation hasn't really done much in this game. Horvat with an outside shot. That's going to be a rebound. Offensive right wing, Barzal with a rebound shot. And with all those chances, he misses. He um, Mrazic makes the save. So Vlasic has the puck. And we are going to be in the box for two minutes. So that isn't good. Inside shot for Jones of Chicago. It's going to be a save. The defensive center comes away with it, except we don't have a center because we're short-handed. So that's Felino with the puck. And that is going to be a save in the right wing. Now, we do have a right wing. Uh, we're going to give it to Pollock. He's just going to shoot it. We're just going to have him shoot it. And lose to any player. They can choose any player to come away with the puck. Still a minute 38 in the Dobson penalty. There is 343 left in the second period. And that's going to be a lose to any player. I'm going to give it to Pollock. Pollock has the puck, inside shot for left wing, and that is Holmstrom. Holmstrom taking the inside shot, and it's going to be a goal! So we open up a 4-2 to lead here on our um, 18th shot of the game. So face off at center ice, we're up 4-2. We are being outshot 23 to 18, but we are not being outscored, which is the more important statistic. Pellick comes away with the puck for New York. There is 231 left in the second period. I'm going to try to intimidate at 60%. It works. Azekas takes the puck away and has control of it. And Reichel with an outside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. We're going to give it to Pollock. So Pollock has the puck. Korczynski with an outside shot. That's going to be a rebound. They're going to deflect. They're going to try to deflect it with Colin Blackwell. And that is going to be a goal. So, yeah, don't go away because this game is far from over. We are now only winning by the score of 4-3. to three. Chicago with 25 shots and us with 18. Looked like we were going to have a cakewalk there for a little while, at least I thought. But it hasn't turned out like that. There's a minute 22 left in the second period. Peugeot comes away with the puck. Outside shot for the right wing. I am going to shoot it. I'm just going to try to shoot it. I wouldn't say at this point that we're playing with house money, but I am just going to try to shoot it. There's a save by Brazic. Left wing coming away with it. 
And an outside shot only for Barzal. Let's see if he can get us on the board right before he can, right before the period ends. That's probably going to be the last card of the second period. And we're going to open up a 5-3 lead. This is a this is a slam bang scuffle here. This is a barn burner. So that is, yes, the end of the second period. So we're going into the third period. Uh, we're being outshot 25-20, but we are outscoring Chicago five goals to three. Anders Lee has the puck for us. And we're going to go give it to Barzal. That's a good choice. Barzal penetrates inside. Let's see if he can give us a two-goal lead. He cannot. It's going to be a save and either defenseman coming away with it. He chooses Jones. So Jones has the puck. Seth Jones with it for Chicago. And Barzal from the inside. That's going to be a save and the right defenseman coming away with it. So yeah, I definitely don't want to play. I want to play Mrazic as little as possible this coming year. His statistics were a lot better than this card, I'll tell you that. Uh, Felino with the puck for Chicago. Let's see what they do with it. I'm going to try to intimidate, take the puck away. Can't dislodge it, so Seth Jones with an inside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating and a goal! Yeah, don't go away. Do not do that. It's 5-4. to four. And uh, we are being outshot. 20, uh, 26 to 22, but we are still winning the game 5 4. And Sorokin is just getting his butt handed to him, as is Mrazic. Neither one of these goalies has played very well this game. And there's going to be an outside shot for Korczynski. Loses it to the uh, center. That's Sezikis. Sezikis has the puck. There's 16.39 left in the game. we got to hang on. Anderson with the puck. Outside shot. Save. Defensive center comes away with it. That is Horvat in this particular case. Horvat, who we got, I believe, from Vancouver. Korczynski feeds Barzal, and Barzal has an inside shot. There's a rebound. Offensive left wing, if he's a two, he should be, and that is Anders Lee. And that is going to be a save, and the left defenseman coming away with the puck. Murphy now has it for Chicago. 15-31 left in the game. We're being outshot 27-24, but we are outscoring Chicago by the score of 5-4. to four. Uh, We're going to try to intimidate to take the puck away. There is no penalty. And we have it, Romanov, with the puck for... Our Islanders will give it to Palmieri. Palmieri's hammered into the boards, and Reichel has the puck for Chicago. 13:48 left in the game, unless it's tied. Sezikis, Sezikis with a goalie rating, and it's going to be a save. Either defenseman. Sezikis had a shot there. He had a chance, but it didn't didn't come. He couldn't make it go to the net. Uh, I'm going to give it to Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck with a shot from the outside. It's going to be a save in the left wing coming away with for Chicago. 13-16. So they are within, uh, you know, pull the goalie uh, uh, range. If it comes to that, I'm going to try to pass. Uh, we're going to give it to Horvat. Horvat with an inside shot. And that's going to be a save any player. So Chicago can give it to anyone. They give it to Bedard, obviously. I mean, if Bedard is out there, you give it to him. Lines have changed. Now Radish has it. 
for Chicago. Going to give it to Brock Nelson. Can't knock him off the puck, so Brock Nelson with an inside shot. But it's going to be a save in the left wing coming away with the puck. That's Felino, Nick Felino. And Nelson takes the puck away and has an in, works himself inside, and he'll have a goal. We open a two goal lead here, and we are now out shooting Chicago. So Chicago's falling apart here. We have a six to four lead. Of course, we've been here before with a two goal lead, and every time we get the two goal lead, Chicago comes roaring back and gets down by one. There's still 11.06 left in the game, so there's still quite a bit of time for Chicago to get back in this. Reichel has controlled the puck for Chicago. Sezikis takes it away, has an outside shot only. That is going to be a lose to the defensive center. So Donato has the puck for Chicago. We have a 6-4 lead here with 9.48 left, and Sezikis has an outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the right defenseman for Chicago will have the puck. That's Seth Jones. And that's going to be an outside shot for Romanov. And that's going to be a save defensive center. So Bedard now has the puck. That's the guy that they would want to have it. There's 8.51 left. There's still time. Oh, and we have a penalty, so Horvat is in the sin bin, and uh, yeah, this could be bad. Superior left wing, that'll be Chicago. Player failed to penetrate, though. So Sezikis has the puck. Nick Foligno takes the puck away. Inside shot for right wing. I'm going to try to intimidate. Kant and Kurashev has an inside shot for the Blackhawks. That's going to be a rebound. Sorokin allowing too many rebounds. Kurashev with the rebound shot. And that's going to be a save left defenseman. So Riley has the puck. Mike Riley coming away with it. And he loses the puck to Kurashev. And Kershev is going to have a goal. That's why I told you, don't go away. Don't do it. It is now 6-5. 6 5 and we are being, we're out shooting him 31-30. But this is really a shootout at the old OK Corral. Murphy has the puck. 6-25 left in the game. Felino with an outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the left defenseman coming away with it. Pellick has it. And now Murphy takes the puck away, and Murphy has the puck, has possession of it for Chicago. Anderson loses it to Matt Martin. Matt Martin with an inside shot, a rare inside shot for him. Save any player. Bedard, obviously, they would give it to Bedard. There's 4.43 left. Horvat with an outside shot for the Islanders. There's a save, and the right defenseman comes away with the puck. And Romanov takes the puck away from uh, Kurashev and has an inside shot. It's a rebound. Any defensive player with a 3 rating, and that would be Nick Foligno. 340 left in the game. Going to try to intimidate. We can't, so Radish has an inside shot for the Blackhawks. It's a rebound. He's allowing too many rebounds. Offensive left wing Foligno with the rebound shot. And that'll be a goal, 1-10, to 10, and it is a goal! <coughs> so they tie the game. But I told you, don't go away. It's 6-6. Six, six. We're out shooting him 34-33. But the game is tied at 6. Radish has the puck, puck for Chicago. 
256 left in regulation. I'm going to give it to Palmieri. Let's hope we can score here. Save, and the defensive center comes away with it for Chicago. That is Donato. So Donato has it for the Blackhawks. Martin with an outside shot. He takes the puck away and has an outside shot. Save any player. They give it back to Donato, so he has the puck. There's only a minute 48 left in regulation. Anderson with an outside shot, and Sorokin is tired. That's going to be a save in the defensive center. Coming away with it, I may have to make a change for the overtime period. We're going to try to intimidate, and I don't know. Oh, yeah, they already made their change at goalie. So left wing, Lee has it. 47 seconds left. Kurashev has an outside shot. Left defenseman, save left defenseman Romanov coming away. So yeah, they already made their goalie change because Morazic was terrible and so is Sorokin. For us, Noah Dobson couldn't take the puck away, so Jones has an inside shot. Save defensive center, period is over. So I am going to change lines. Uh... We are going to put uh, Varlamov. Yeah, we're going to put Varlamov in the net. And we have a five-minute overtime period before a shootout, I believe, is how it's going to work. Romanov has the puck. So you're getting extra hockey here. We're in the fourth period. Uh, Barzal, I'll give it to Barzal. Crushing hit on Barzal, so Vlasic has the puck for Chicago. 3.51 left in the overtime period. I'm going to try to pass it. Lose puck to the opponent. Barzal couldn't make the pass. So Vlasic has the puck again. Going to try to intimidate. Couldn't dislodge the puck. Kurashev with an inside shot. Save left defenseman. Romanov with it. Kurashev with the outside shot. It's going to be a lose to the left defenseman. That's Pelik. Pelik has the puck. There's 210 left in the overtime period. And they have a penalty. So we're going to have four men on the ice to their three. And I'm going to pass, 62%, inside shot for right wing. Pelmeri was hammered into the boards, though, and Vlasic took control of the puck, so Chicago has it. Jones now has the puck, Seth Jones for Chicago. He is skating with the puck. There's only a minute 22 left in the overtime period. Pelmeri with an inside shot, save left defenseman. And uh, we will... We have an outside shot from Dobson. Save right defenseman coming away with it. There is only 38 seconds left. So they're going to settle this with a shootout. Felino, And that is a goal by Felino. So Chicago goes up by one. Uh, I'm going to give it to Brock Nelson, yes. Brock Nelson inside. That's going to be a save any player or a save. 
So they have uh, Bedard now taking the, the next shot. That's not good news. But he doesn't score, so I'm going to give it to Barzal. Barzal, uh, he's going to not score. So Tyler Johnson has it for Chicago. And that's going to be a goal. That's probably going to be the winner. And that is. So they win it. I mean, uh, you know, I hope you watched to this point because, man, it was a hell of a game. But Chicago wins it 7-6 in the shootout phase. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.